Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, MySpace, 4chan, Newgrounds, Gaia, BuddyPick, Something Awful. What do all these websites have in common? Oh, you've never heard about the last four websites I mentioned? Newgrounds is where you played amateur porn games. Gaia is where you cringed at 10 year olds. Buddy Pick is where you broke all the rules of the internet. Years before Facebook did the same thing. And something awful, that's where the creator of 4chan used to post on. Did you catch all that? Good. So the thing that all these websites have in common is that they are all centralized. You don't know what I mean by centralized, do you? Centralized, as in, when you want to see people's tweets, you have to go to twitter.com and you need to have a Twitter account. It's not possible to see or tweet to other people from a separate website. Now do you get it? So, what exactly is the problem with having centralized platforms for online communication? Well, when you have a centralized platform, the owners of the platform can, at any moment, physically remove you from their platform. These platforms are managed by the private sector, so they of course have no legal obligation to give you a voice. And I don't think they should have a legal obligation to give you a voice. However, the problem is much deeper than simply getting banned for posting naughty thoughts. When I say the internet is centralized, I don't just mean that websites are centralized. I also mean that the internet itself has centralized itself into the same three or four big name websites. Because almost everyone goes to these websites, almost all of the information we see on the entire internet comes from these websites. And if you get exiled from any one of them, your voice will never be heard. And the information you see all over the entire internet will come from people who've never heard any other voices. Now, I don't know about you, but it doesn't sit well with me to know that. Basically, all of the information you see online is information that trickles down from some subreddit circle jerk or some blue check marks on Twitter. How do we fix this, though? Is there even a way to fix this? Well, yes. Yes, there is. It's called the Fediverse. So, the Fediverse. What is it? Is it something related to feds? No, no, don't worry. There is no bioluminescent three-letter agencies here. The Fediverse gets its name from Federation. Much like real federations, the Fediverse is a decentralized network of hundreds upon hundreds of different websites that can all communicate with each other. Think of it like email. You know how someone can make an account on Gmail and then send an email to someone on Yahoo? Well, it's a similar concept. Websites on the Fediverse can all communicate with each other, despite them being hosted on different servers. How does it do this? Well, it uses a protocol called ActivityPub. ActivityPub is the backbone of the Fediverse. It is the thing that makes federation between these websites possible. The most popular of these Fediverse software kind of things is Mastodon. With Mastodon, you can make your own microblogging website, similar to Twitter. And through your website, you'll be able to send messages to other websites using Mastodon. But Mastodon isn't the only Fediverse software out there. There's also Pleroma, which is like Mastodon, but it's more lightweight. Soapbox, which seeks to emulate Twitter's layout as much as possible. Friendica, which emulates Facebook. Pixelfed, which emulates Instagram. Lemmy, which emulates Reddit. Peertube, which emulates YouTube. And the list goes on. So you know how I mentioned earlier that the Fediverse is like a federation? Well, it's not like a federation in the traditional sense. It's more like a federation of anarcho-capitalist covenant communities. Why do I say this? Well, one of the features of ActivityPub is that the owner of an instance has the power to ban whomever they want from their instance, as well as ban other instances. This has led to an interesting phenomena where the Fediverse is sort of split between instances that have a certain political leaning and instances that don't. On the surface, you may think that this is a bad thing, as getting silenced is still possible, so we're not fixing anything then, right? Well, look at it this way. No one on the Fediverse can ever truly get censored. 
as the Fediverse is, at the end of the day, completely decentralized. If you get banned from one instance, you can always move to another one. Or even better, you can easily create your own instance. It is ultimately impossible to ever fully be silenced. So now here's the tricky question. Which instance should you, a person that doesn't know anything about the Fediverse, join? Well, it all depends on what type of content you want to see, what your political leanings are, and if you believe some people don't deserve to have a voice. If you're a leftist, just search Mastodon instances, and whatever the top results are on Google, that's what you'll want to join. Mastodon got really big with leftist activists, like the breadtube kind of leftist, those kind of people. So if you're a leftist, just like join mastodon.social or something. If you aren't a leftist, or you don't care about politics at all, the following instances I left in the description may be of your interest. So don't think about it too hard, just join an instance, follow people, use it, tell your friends about it, tell everyone you know about the Fediverse, and hopefully we can re-decentralize the internet and take power away from big tech.